Hey everyone, I want to talk to you real quick about the uh, legislation that's still trying to be passed in Minnesota that is attacking 272 deer farms in the state of Minnesota. They're drafting legislation to want to shut down 272 farms. First of all, who are these deer farmers? Who are they? Well, we've had dairy farmers over the years who couldn't make it on a small dairy farm. The money was too tight. They owned the land, the equipment, they had the buildings and they decided to try an alternative livestock to save their family farm. They started raising whitetails. I've been to many farms with the big silos and the dairy barn that was converted into a whitetail deer farm. There have been cattle producers, livestock producing beef that have converted small operations over into raising alternative livestock whitetail deer. Hog farmers, 272 deer farmers in Minnesota. They started their, their uh, hobby, a lot of them, with egg farm experience getting into this. So now we've got these bills being passed to try to shut us down. Let's talk about these uh, knucklehead uh, lawmakers in St. Paul. Who are they? Jamie Becker Finn drafted, drafted or worked on these bills, endorsing them. Um, who is she? Well, she's a Democrat. In fact, all of the people endorsing these bills so far are Democrats. I'm not going to make this into a Democrat versus Republican thing. I know there's good Democrats. I know there's good Republicans. And there's bad in each group. However, in this case, all of the people supporting these bills to shut down these family farms are in fact, so far what I've seen, Democrats. What does DFL stand for? Democratic Farmer Laborer. These people that are attaching themselves to these bills to shut down deer farmers, they've lost their way. The DFL it's, it's uh, bread and butter. What it stands on usually is helping farmers. It's in their name. They've lost their way. Now they're attacking the family farm. How did, how did they get to this point? What happened? Well, I think they were lied to. They didn't do their homework. They were naive and gullible. Somebody came to them and gave them a sales pitch and said, hey, we've got to shut down deer farms. They're going to ruin our wild deer herd in the state of Minnesota. And these people, without even knowing the laws, drafted up bills ignorantly and moved forward. That's what they did. It was ignorance. Why do I say that? Because the CWD laws that are in place right now, you can look them up. 272 farms in Minnesota must be enrolled in a CWD plan, which is administered by the Minnesota Board of Animal Health. They're doing a good job. So 272 farms enrolled. What does that mean? I have to send in brain stems. I have to. I don't have a choice. I send in brain stems. I've done it 150 times, roughly. I have to send in the ear tag. I have to send in paperwork with it, lymph nodes, and a sample of hair. I send all this stuff in. Where do I send it? The Minnesota Veterinary Diagnostic Lab. That's where I send it. I get a report back. The report says over and over and over and over again, Steve Porter does not have CWD in his herd. Doesn't have it. But yet this week, there was testimony, or last week, in our capital that deer farms are a nuclear hot zone. Nuclear hot zone that must be contained with double fencing. In fact, it needs to be 10 feet tall. We need to have every farm in Minnesota spend more money double fencing. But they don't want to recognize the science. The science this is where they were ignorant and gullible. The science is, we've been sending in all the brain stems, we don't have CWD. So you can't use rhetoric, nuclear hot zone. Can't do it. And then you say, but we need double fencing to contain CWD. Well, if I had it, I don't have it. We don't have it. That's a lot of rhetoric, nuclear hot zone. I'm allowed to bring my deer, and rightfully so, because I've submitted all the paperwork and I followed all the rules and regulations, I go on display and I travel around with my live white-tailed deer. My deer interact with people and kids. I talk to three, four hundred thousand sportsmen a year in front of my live deer display and kids are getting their hands licked, their elbows licked, their forearms licked, they're laughing, feeding apples, giggling, having fun with my deer. So wait a minute, I can bring my deer around the country, they can lick people on the hand, and then when I come home, I got to contain my nuclear hot zone and put double fencing up and fence and spend $75,000. Jamie Becker Finn, you're out of touch. Your DFL 
that you stand for and represent, you have lost your way. You're attacking Minnesota farmers because you bought a lie. You bought a lie from someone you didn't know what was going on. You didn't do your homework and now you're trying to pass legislation shutting down farmers. Minnesota farmers are under attack by our DFL. I could understand it if there was just cause, if it was reasonable. I could understand it. This isn't reasonable. This isn't even good, good law. It's not good legislation. It's, it's foolishness. Who are these people? Let's take a look again. Dylan put their faces up on the screen. Here is uh, Jamie Becker Finn. And who, are the, who, who other names are attached to these bills? Let's take a look. Show them up there. Who are these people? They're not good for Minnesota and they're not good for the DFL. What happens if I decide to take a buyout, if they pass that law? A voluntary buyout. Oh, that sounds really fun, doesn't it? Volunt it's just voluntary. It's just if you want to step up and we'll pay you for your deer. Wait a minute. You're going to pass laws running us out of business. You're going to shut off all of our revenue stream, kill our business. And then you're going to stand there and say, well, it's, it's voluntary. It's just, just voluntary. And if you do a buyout, well, then we're going to attach some deed restrictions to your land. We're going to attach deed restrictions that would stay on your land forever. And if you sell it, the de deed restrictions stay on the land. What is this type of communism coming forward? Deed restrictions coming from DFL. Unbelievable. So if I take the buyout after they've cut off all the revenue streams, no more farms in Minnesota, no deer in and out of state, no new customers, no new farms, 10-foot fence, they've, they've attacked me everywhere. And, and 272 other farmers, they've attacked us. They've cut off all our revenue streams. Now, wink, wink, nod, nod. Here's the voluntary buyout. So if I do the voluntary buyout and I take their money, if it passes, what happens then? These three bucks in the trailer that you see kids petting? Well, we're not going to talk about it. Jamie Becker Finn, whatever her name is. We don't want to talk about it. But Steve, you need to kill them. You need, you need to kill all these animals. You need to just go out in your pasture with a rifle and shoot them. Shoot them. And then, no, we're probably not going to let anybody eat the meat because it's nuclear hot zone. And I don't know who would want to eat the meat off of a couple of Steve's pets that he travels around the country with. So, you, Steve, you need to shoot them. And then, after we've killed all the animals on your farm, and we've continued to send in all the brain stems, and we realize that you don't have CWD, then we can feel good that we've saved Minnesota from an atrocity. These people that I put their faces on the screen, they're no good for Minnesota. You need to remember that the next time we cast our votes. Minnesota farmers and ranchers, landowners, these are the people that will come after anything when they believe a lie. They're gullible, they're naive, they're willfully ignorant, a lot of guys watching this video say, well, next our guns will be under attack, our firearms will come after our guns. Who's going to bring that legislation forth? I wonder who would be naive, gullible, and ignorant to put something forward. Well, we don't have to look very far, do we? Everything's under attack. It's one piece at a time, people. Landowners, farmers, and ranchers, we need to stand together and stop this nonsense. Thanks for watching.